Well, hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to the Q&A. So for today's video, I'm gonna answer your questions about a condition known as acanthosis nigricans. I get questions about this a fair amount. If you're not familiar, it is a skin condition that consists of dark um, brown, uh, thick plaques on the back of the neck, very commonly, also under the armpits, in the folds of the body, so really anywhere. Um, it also can occur on the face and it can occur on the backs of the hands, the tops of the feet. And it is not so much a skin disease, but a skin manifestation of an underlying systemic problem. Most commonly, insulin resistance, which is something that happens in individuals who are on their way to developing or already have type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance basically means that your body has to make a lot of insulin because your receptors no longer see it as well in the body and don't, your body doesn't respond to it as well. And as a result, you have higher levels of insulin. Insulin-like growth factor um, comes into the skin and can result in uh, these thick plaques as a result of its, its effects on the skin cells. So that is what it is for many people. It's related to insulin resistance, a condition of insulin resistance. It's also commonly seen in obesity. Um, and so it is, you know, kind of part of the same thing, a metabolic issue with insulin resistance. But, um, you know, not all people who have insulin resistance or diabetes are obese necessarily. So, and then it also can occur in certain syndromes, something called polycystic ovary syndrome. There is some degree of insulin resistance often associated with that condition. And those, those um, women often have, often have acanthosis nigricans. Acanthosis nigricans might also be related to a medication that you're on. Common medications that cause this are um, any kind of systemic hormonal therapy, uh, as well as corticosteroids. So prednisone, for example, can cause this. So medications can sometimes cause this. Um, and then uh, not too uncommonly, there is a benign variant that occurs on the backs of the hands and the tops of the feet in um, in individuals who are otherwise healthy. And we don't exactly know why that is. There's no insulin resistance. It tends to happen more often in African Americans um, for, for whatever reason. And then very, very rarely, this can present in association with an underlying cancer. Most commonly cancers of the um, digestive tract, most commonly cancers of the stomach. And the way that this classically presents is very abruptly, kind of out of nowhere in somebody who is not insulin resistant or obese, um, and it tends to happen in unusual places. The tongue is a very common area for it to present in cases that are associated with an underlying tumor. Now, you guys always wanna know, well, what can be done to get rid of it? But it's really important to understand that the treatment is to address the underlying medical condition. So if you have this or think you have this, the number one recommendation is to see your doctor um, because there's some blood work that you know, should be obtained to rule out an underlying medical problem. If you have insulin resistance, if you have type two diabetes, polycystic ovarian syndrome, those are medical conditions that uh, with management and treatment, the acanthosis nigricans has a potential to improve. To what degree does it improve once those diseases and conditions are optimally managed? It's variable, but the condition can and does often get better when the disease is well controlled with medications or through through lifestyle interventions such as diet and exercise and weight loss. If it's related to a medication you might be taking, you know, stopping it if, if that's okay, um, you know, it would it would then go away. And God forbid this be the presentation of, of a malignancy. A malignancy workup would be would be obviously needed. Now, while this is a skin manifestation of an underlying metabolic problem most often or an underlying medical condition which when addressed the skin condition can improve. The degree with which it improves and the rate at which it improves is somewhat variable and it really does impact the individual's well-being and how they feel about themselves. The impact on someone's self-esteem who has to deal with this is not to, not to be dismissed. So is there anything else that is offered or can be helpful for this? 
probably the first line treatment outside of treating the underlying medical problem is a topical retinoid. Um, topical tretinoin is helpful. Topical tretinoin in the percentage strengths 0.05 and 0.1 have been examined and have been shown to be helpful in um, getting rid of, in some cases, it will get rid of the appearance of the acanthosis nigricans. And on biopsy, there will actually be evidence that it has gone away. Um, so tretinoin can be very helpful, as can adapalene, a dif different brand name Differin, which is sold over the counter as Differin, adapalene 0.1%, also can help this to get better. When the topical retinoid is stopped, the condition will often come right back. So it's something that has to be maintained. And then the other problem with topical retinoids is that they can be very, they are very irritating. And because this condition tends to present in areas of the folds, like in the armpits, the, pro the potential for irritation from tretinoin is even greater. So sometimes it's very hard to tolerate these treatments in those areas so well, but it is effective and it will, it can result in improvement in the appearance. It's not gonna help in everyone and who it helps, it's hard to predict, but many people do get very good results using a topical retinoid. And in addition to a topical retinoid, it seems that a combination of both a topical retinoid and over-the-counter ammonium lactate, an ammonium lactate containing moisturizer like amylactin can get the individual even more significant improvement. So it seems the combination of the two, either alternated using one in the morning, one in the evening, or alternate every other day, um, that, that type of regimen can be, can really get this to, to look better in many people. Not everyone, so I don't want to set your expectations that this is going to 100% get rid of it, but it can help. Another topical treatment that um, works to varying extents um, is something called calcipitriol. Calcipitriol is a um, cream that is used actually for psoriasis. It is uh, a cream whose active ingredient uh, is analogous to the shape of vitamin D and helps to control cell proliferation in the skin, kind of help regulate it. That's why it works for psoriasis, but it's been shown in, in you know, cases of, of acanthosis nigricans can improve using this twice a day. Again, it's one of those things that once that you stop it, uh, the condition will come back, particularly obviously if the underlying medical issue is not being addressed. And you know the response to these additional treatments is obviously going to be much, much greater, keeping in mind that the, that the underlying medical cause is being appropriately treated. Um, okay, and then the other, the other thing that can be offered that's pretty cheap and effective is a chemical peel, uh, specifically a TCA or trichloroacetic acid peel. This is very safe, very inexpensive, easy for the physician to perform. Uh, trichloroacetic acid is an exfoliating agent that works um, uh, as a chemical peel by um, damaging the, <laughs> the epidermis and causing um, causing destruction of the top, the very top layer of the skin, and then the skin regenerates itself. And so that is how it is thought to work for improving acanthosis nigricans. It's pretty, you know, in, in terms of chemical peels, it's a very inexpensive one to pursue and it's very safe. Um, there are some individuals who go on Accutane and get improvement in this condition. Accutane is oral, is oral isotretinoin. I have a video talking about Accutane, so check that out if you were at all interested. But there are, I have seen cases of people who go on Accutane, say for their acne, and their acanthosis nigricans gets better, and there are case reports in the medical literature that support this as well. So yes, it can be helpful in some cases, but it is a systemic medication. There are side effects that have to be monitored. So, um, you know, whether or not that's right for you would be something to address with your healthcare provider. It's quite a lot to go, go through, but it's something that has been shown to be effective. What about lasers for acanthosis nigricans? The alexandrite laser um, targets uh, the pigment cells in the skin and has been, has been shown to be helpful for this. Um, it is a bit laborious and honestly it's not very cost effective. You have to have about seven treatments spaced anywhere from four to eight weeks and that'll get you, that'll, that'll get you some, some degree, if not complete, um, improvement in the appearance of the acanthosis nigricans, but it will likely come back and the improvement that you get is not likely to be much better than what you would get from from a retinoid or from some of these other more cost-effective treatments. So it's very, very costly in other words. You've got to go back to that 
laser sur you know that that provider that has a laser and pay that copay and pay that fee every single time it's not going to be covered by insurance so probably not you know that's not really ideal for everybody but those are some things that uh, can help the other thing that can help although it's very irritating is microdermabrasion i have a video on microdermabrasion and you know it can it can lightly exfoliate the skin and kind of you know help the the skin texture improve and the appearance improve as well so that is another option um, but those are those are kind of the the standard things I'll say you know treating the underlying medical condition is the most pressing issue um, and has to has to be at the forefront only then can some of these additional things be considered so the first step is to see your health care provider um, and uh, you know then go from there but the condition can and, and frequently does although not always can get better with controlling the underlying problem whether it be weight related insulin resistance can get better in the case of insulin resistance for example oral medications like metformin People's um, acanthosis nirocans does get better on, on on oral metformin, which is a medication used used for people with insulin resistance to help uh, in terms of insulin responsiveness. So, yeah, that's that's basically you know kind of the rundown on acanthosis nirocans. It's very it's very unpleasant to have to live with. Um, can definitely impact your self esteem. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys and kind of going over what it is. What to expect and what additional treatments outside of outside of treating the underlying medical cause that there that there are to pursue so if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow